Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you today. A uh, lot to talk about John Cena's movie career. Um, basically, uh, there's speculation out there that John Cena is going to be hanging it up with WWE and moving over into the world of making movies, much like uh, The Rock has, and, and we will be left without the biggest star of our modern era. Honestly, I don't think there's any weight to this uh, story. I think that John Cena does have some appeal to some sort of minor uh, movie makers out there. Uh, let's see that, like... Um, you know, John Cena's had movies such as The, the Marine and 12 Rounds, uh, which WWE put out and really pushed real hard to make uh, make John Cena a real big movie star. I thought The Marine and I thought The 12 Rounds were good movies. Uh, they weren't great. Uh, the Marine had lots of explosions. Uh, basically, any set they built uh, to film a scene on the movie, basically, they blew up uh, before the end of it. And that always makes for a good sort of adventure sort of story to go along with it. Legendary was a great movie, but basically, John Cena was a... Uh, was a big star of the movie, like he was the, the the thing. But honestly, he wasn't the big. He didn't have the biggest role in that movie. He was sort of like the brother that was teaching. Uh, he was like he was like the the secondary character in there. And you know, since then we really haven't got a John Cena movie that, that came out. He did the Fred movies uh, that I've never seen. Uh, he did the movie called The Reunion, which was a WWE films uh, that when it was out. I really wanted to see. I, I saw it the other day. It finally popped up on, on Netflix, so sooner than later I'll watch it. But I know he's out filming two movies right now, uh, Trainwreck and The Nest. Uh, I don't know uh, anything about these movies, but more than likely they're WWE films, uh, uh, movies that are hopefully going to break even for these guys. Um, I, I don't really see him as being a guy that's going to go out and do some sort of uh, a major film role. He's not going to be a star as of like The Rock. Uh, I don't really see him walking away from wrestling. I think that he knows WWE is his meal ticket. Uh, he has been around for a long time, but I think he is a guy that honestly is going to milk it in, in the wrestling business as long as he can. Uh, there was, you know, a talk when uh, Hulk Hogan was in the 80s. Uh, somewhere near the 90s, he, he, he was, you know, phasing out as, as a wrestler. He went and made No Holds Barred, which led into Suburban Commando, which led into The Nanny. And everybody said that he was launching into being a major movie star. The next thing you know, he's making uh, Thunder and Paradise. He's back in WCW. Uh, you know, the run that was never supposed to happen, you know, that led to him coming back to WWE in 2002, which led to him getting the title again. Who would have ever thought that, you know, leaving, going to TNA, coming back to WWE uh, for WrestleMania 30, you know, all things come full circle. I, I don't think John Cena is going to be walking away from, from wrestling. Do I see him as a character that more than likely maybe he's um, not wrestling on every Monday Night Raw? Maybe he's not wrestling on every house show? Uh, maybe they actually find a way to, to make another star to, to have the same appeal of John Cena. There's lots of talk about making you know Roman Reigns this guy. But just basically, the, to end this video up, John Cena is not going nowhere. John Cena might go and he might make these two movies. Uh, he's not going to be all gone all that long. Uh, he's going to be a big part of uh, SummerSlam. He's going to be a big part of the United Champions push that pushed us through. Um, you know, last year uh, we had the uh, John Cena injury, uh, which you know just it sucks. Uh, and you could tell by watching what was going on last year, but at least we got the big, huge Daniel, uh, Daniel Bryan storyline out of all of that. Who knows where John Cena would have fit in if he wouldn't have got that elbow scoped after SummerSlam, and uh, he would have been out until Hell in the Cell when he came back and won the World Heavyweight Championship from Alberto Del Rio. But um, it is what it is, you know. Hey, guys get hurt. It's part of the business. They get better. They come back, and... Like, John Cena, you're a bigger star for leaving uh, because we haven't seen you in so long. So I'm looking forward to seeing John Cena wrestle in the WWE for at least the next 10 years. That's my guess. What's yours?